Hello, 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 everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and tell them that we are here. And today we will talk about Allah the One. Allah the One. There's something the Muslims are so proud about. They keep talking about we believe in the oneness of Allah. Mm -hmm. Thousands, millions of videos. The oneness of Allah, the oneness of Allah, the oneness. Okay, we got it. Allah is one, but one what? I mean, if Allah is one or five or ten, that will not change anything. You have one God, his name is Allah. And why he's supposed to be two anyway? Don't you call him Allah or you call him Allah's? <laughs> Secondly, my friend, Allah is one, but one foolish person. I mean, instead of focusing in telling us Allah is one or two, and then you answer the foolishness of Allah, where Allah, he says, he will come to you in a shape other than his shape. So Allah is one, but he have many shape. And why Allah is a physical being? The God of Islam is the God who is not a spirit. And yet the Muslim, they say to us, he is the same God of Abraham. But from the first three lines in the Bible, in the book of the Jews, which is the book of Abraham anyway, this is the, is the children's, it says that God is a spirit. The God of Islam is not a spirit, and he has no spirit. He is a physical being. All what the Muslim knows about their one God, that he have a shin, he have five fingers, he have two hands, he have two eyes, and he's fat and short and curly hair. So what the, uh, as uh, Brother Zakanaik says, so uh, uh, what the point? What is the point? It, the point is that this God cannot be God. A God who do not know how the baby is created, he is one or two or five, who care? Still he do not know. Are you getting the point, my, my brother? How your God is God. But yet, he do not know how the baby is created. Isn't it that weird? How God is God, but yet he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Like what? Yes, brother. From their ribs. How that can be? How God he can be God, but yet he think the sun sit in murky water. How God he is God, yet he steal a story about the seven sleepers, which is a fiction story, and he put it in the Quran. How God can be God, yet he take a story, speaking about a guy, his name is Al-Khadr, and the reason he was called Al-Khadr, which means green, because he drank from the fountain of youth, which is we can find in the Caribbean island movie, Captain Sparrow. So you give us headache about this God, you have a God, he is one God, he is one, he is two, he is five, he is seven. So, still he is the same foolish God. The Muslims, they made millions of videos speaking about science and the Quran, and later we discover that all of this is nothing but a lie. Not a single one of them is true. How you can be like another person? I don't know what do you mean. Somebody's asking how you can be another like another person. I'm not sure what that means. Make your question clear, please. I'm blind, Mr. Mike Smith. Why I'm blind? Okay, Mr. Mike Smith, I have a coffee in my hand, and I will be happy if you can share this coffee with me and tell me, prove to me that Allah is God. Let us read together. This God, he think that the baby is created from a sperm and the sperm became dead blood and then the dead the blood grow and became a, a flesh and then the flesh became bones. 
Hmm? So you have one God, but he need to go to school, not even like a high school, it meaning like his elementary school. And he need to get some education with some graphics so he can learn that this is silly and this is stupid and it's not true. This is God. Who is the blind? He is a God, but yet he thinks that the sperm, Nutfa, Nutfa, is millions of, sperm, of, of, of uh, semen. You know, the sperm. This is what Nutfa, it's a drop of water. He thinks that the whole Nutfa will transform into a dead blood. And then the dead blood will transform into a, a lump of flesh. And then the lump of flesh, brother, will transfer into bones. This is the one God you have. Hmm? I don't care if Allah talked to non-Muslim or not. That's not the topic. That's not even important. Any Abdul? Can you talk? This question here. Oh, this guy is in the beach. Uh, okay. Uh, fountain uh, of youth. He's looking for the fountain of youth, Caribbean islands. Okay, Arabian prophet. Can you also talk about the verses where Allah speak of the past time he would take with ourselves? We spoke about it yesterday, but still, I mean... Let us let us let us let it go. I mean, Allah is one. Okay, Allah is one. What? Allah is one ignorant. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is Allah is one. So they give us a hard time. Allah, brother, we believe in one God. Well, the Christians they believe in one God. The Trinity is one God. The Jews they believe in one God. There is many religions they believe in one God. There's there's a there's a church. It's called the Church of Satan. They believe that Satan is the only true God. So, what does this have to do with the proving to me that your God is God? And your God is an amazing God to the point he cannot give Muhammad a miracle. And look what the Muslims, they say to us, Brother, there is a miracle reported in the Quran, brother. It says uh, the Prophet Muhammad, he split the moon. Let us read the verse and love together. It doesn't say that. All of you are a bunch of liars. Hmm. This is the verse. This verse actually proving to us that Muhammad and his God are false. Look what it says. The hour has drawn near and the moon has been cleft asunder. Hmm. The people of Mecca, between two brackets, they ask Muhammad for a miracle. And then what happened? The moon split. Like, uh, Abdul, I mean, this is a stupid. This is the eclipse. There's no moon splitting and the moon is there. And suddenly here it says, by the way, it says the hour is near. So the moon is splitting is, actually it doesn't say near. That It says drawn down in the translation. In Arabic it says, which means it's almost there. Okay, but there is nothing happen. So this is a false prophecy and this is a false understanding for the eclipse. And it's not Muhammad who point his finger at the moon. He said, hey, moon is split for them. I mean, what about making a blind sea? Resurrect some people from the death. What the moon is split? This is eclipse. Here we go. The moon is there. Because if you see this, the moon is split. That's mean the moon is gone. You see, the second the moon became two pieces, the moon will not exist in its location no more. Will not be the moon we know. At least will not be around. Imagine you took a bite from a cookie. Let me find a, a picture here. A picture for a cookie. Just to make them understand, you know, people are slow at what they can do.
Okay, we found one. Let us see, brother. This is the moon, brother. Let me put for you on the screen, brother. Let us say, brother, for the sake of argument, brother, this is Mr. Moon. Peace upon him. And the moon is split, brother. Well, the moon will not be the same as it is before, as now, as we see it now. The moon is always like this, is round. And we have tens of thousands of uh, Arabic poetry before Muhammad is speaking about the roundness of the moon. So if the moon is split, brother, the moon will still around, or there is a bite is taken off. Where Allah He broke the moon, He broke it in the side, in the middle, or uh, between. <laughs> and remember, in Arabic it says "in shak al qamar," which means it became two pieces. This is why in Arabic we have the word "shakiq," which means a brother. Like you are, you are just a split of another creature who is your brother. So both of you coming from one person. So you are split, shakiq. Any Muslim? This is foolishness. And here Muhammad he made a false prophecy. Everything Muhammad he said in the Quran proving to us that he is a false prophet. Here we go. He claimed that the judgment day is a sign, the, the moon splitting is a sign of a judgment day. I did not remember that judgment day did come yet. But the fact, this is nothing but a poetry. Muhammad, he stole it from a man. His name is Imrul Qais. Uh, Mike Smith, that's because you are stupid. The blood moon happen every year, almost every few years. Go search right now. You will see how stupid you are. You are ignorant. Do you want to show you? Let me show you. You are just a, a potato. By the way, I have copyright over the word potato, brother. If you type in Google, do you know how to type in Google? Blood moon, simply the moon turned red. You idiot. You idiot. And here we go. It's a brother and sister. And look, I found brother. I found the moon, the, the moon red in the most next to it, brother. I don't know. This is not the most. No, this is a Manarat. Hello? Do you see the blood moon, uh, Abdul? The Bible says the blood moon. Uh, it's, it's real. It's not fake. Now, and where is the answer about what I just showed you about in your religion? The stupidity. Huh? This is Jibreel. Uh, this is Muhammad when Jibreel was squeezing him. Have you ever heard of an angel? He come to a guy. And he said to him, read, but the guy do not know how to read. I mean, everything you know in your religion is really weird. I mean, I go to a guy, he don't, he don't read, and I, I squeeze him, I say, read. And, like, and Muhammad never said to the angel, stop touching me. Like, what the heck? I mean, I will not let anyone squeeze me, man, unless he is used to it. What is the connection between the squeeze of the angel and the oneness of Allah and the moon splitting? You need to squeeze the moon too. I could find all the image. Yeah, this is a, this is nothing but a poetry. Muhammad he took it from Imrul Qais. Let me find it for you. No problem. All right. Okay.
here we go look it's exactly as it is in the Quran the thief Muhammad he took the point of Imru al Qais a man who was exist before Muhammad and supposedly he was Christian he said then at the when shakal qamar the time had come and the moon split and ghazarin sada qalbi wa nafar from a deer who hunted my heart and he ran away which he's speaking about his girlfriend this is not about this is not about the moon he's speaking about his girlfriend muhammad look do you see all those underlines there's the lines here all of those muhammad he stole look 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 how many and he put them in the quran all of those exactly word by word look 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 how many look how many from one point look 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 we're not done we are not done hold on look 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 unbelievable all of this he took it as it is and he put it in the Quran unbelievable brother what the heck is that <laughs> a thief he took the point of Emerald Qais and he put it in the Quran <clears throat> Hmm? But this is not the first time. <coughs> you remember when when uh, Omar he said, "Wafaqani Rabbi fi thalath." And some Muslims they say that Allah agree with Omar in ten things. Some they say seven. Some they say three. However, it doesn't matter what it is. Allah is copying from Omar, but obviously this is not Allah. This is Muhammad. <laughs> Look, Ibrahim. Rafaqani Rabbi. Hmm. Omar said, I agree with Allah in three things. Or said, My Lord, agree with me in three things. This is the correct one. <coughs> I said, O oh Allah, Apostle, would you. <coughs> okay. And then Allah, He sent the verses as I have said. Allah is copying Omar. Well, Allah, he copy everybody. If a Christian prince was exist in the time of Muhammad, he will take the word potato from him and he will put it in the Quran. And he will make the chapter, it's called the chapter of potato. Or he might take the chapter, which is called it like, uh, <clears throat> bad bone, bad bone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad bone, bad bone. What the heck? This guy he copy everybody and they say to you, Can you make Quran like the Quran, brother? The, the Muslim the Arab at that time they were making fun of the Quran of Muhammad, and they said to him, If you want to give this, imagine you are asking them to make Quran like it, and they are saying to you, It's stupid. Look what the Arab they say to Muhammad in his time. The Muslim they, they lie, they say the Arab, they were astonished, brother astonished mm -hmm. we are not astonished before and we are not astonished now all those verses chapter 6 25 chapter 8 31 chapter 16 24 and my voice almost gone chapter 16 24 chapter 23 84 83 uh, 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 chapter 25 5 chapter 27 68 chapter 46 17 uh, chapter uh, uh, 68 I mean come on all of them they are saying this is a joke it's a fairy tale of kids all of those verses saying to muhammad it's just for kids and not only that in chapter 831 they say to muhammad if we want to write something silly like this we can but this is for kids this is silly and when our verses of the Quran are recited to them, they say, potato, 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 potato. I mean, you see how much the Quran is amazing for them? They were laughing. We have heard this before. If which we can say alike, if we want to do that, but this is nothing except it's a fiction. It's a fairy tale for kids. So they, if they want to make like this, we can make like this. But it's stupid. 
and we can prove here that this is stupid so imagine somebody saying to you you're you you you, you have a stupid book and you say to him make like it <laughs> make like it huh? so now who is a Muslim would like to show us that Allah is one and why is one and what is the proof that this one one Allah is God the God who think that women have a sperm coming from their <clears throat> location of their necklace you know uh, since I learned this in the Quran whatever I go I see a woman I look at her necklace location she think I'm staring at her uh, no I absolutely not I'm just trying to study science I want to find out how sperm is made there I need to find a volunteer I want to learn how this happened it's a miracle how well knew this this is this is beyond imagination that somebody would think that a sperm woman have a woman since when a woman have a sperm and then he says that this sperm is coming from between the backbone of the man which means the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman the, the word between here is speaking about two in, in, individual between the man which is from the backbone and the woman which is her ribs you will call your iman it's, it's called imam imam not iman don't forget to call him brother I am a miracle sure I'm a miracle every one of us is a miracle look at this you know do you know how many how many sensor God he installed in your body it's a miracle anything you touch anywhere in your skin you can feel it in a, in a, in, a, in, a, in the speed of light it's a miracle you have sensors you have you have a very complicated complex creation amazing even little mosquito is very complicated do you know that until now there's no airplane can do what a mosquito can do or a fly nobody can do it and they will never be able to, uh, to accomplish that sometime I look at the window and see how those uh, mis uh, like insects from the garden like you know all kind of insects they walk in the glass and look how fast they they, they, they fly and they stop in the window as if the window is like a, but this window is a very smooth it's a glass how they can fly and just land there do we have any Abdul you don't tell me about Zach and Egg now would you mind to teach us teaching us about meaning of alif lam mim again please maybe that would need uh, too, too much time i have a flight by the way to catch soon i'm going to leave you guys i'm going to go and i'm going to start broadcasting from my other account so for those who like to follow my news i'll broadcast even maybe live do you like to see me live like Walking in this, walking down street, la 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 la, unbelievable. So, if you like to uh, join us, this is the account. Quality of life. All right, subscribe please, because during the time I will be away, this is the only account will be active. I don't know if I will be able to do a live broadcast in Arabian Prophet from abroad. I'm not sure if I can, because the problem is. You see to do live broadcast i have many programs to open so i can like zoom in zoom out etc so i'm not sure if that will work but however in case i could not uh, open arabian prophet uh i will be always because this is very simple i can just open my phone and, rec and just uh, do live broadcast or record and post from my phone without without any editing all right so if you like to uh, to follow my news if you care well subscribe there link or oh, no problem 
I need to ask Allah permission to send the link. Allah, can I post a link? No, I need to squeeze them first. Okay, I squeeze you. I will squeeze you, and then I will say to you, read. And then you say to me, I do not know how to read. And then I will squeeze you again, and I say to you, read. And you say, I don't know how to read. And then I will squeeze you third time, and I will post the link, and I say, read the link, you idiot. And then you open the link and you read it. It's a miracle. Yeah, don't worry. I will be. I, you see, I, you know, I go and I do seminars, and you see, I'm not uh, hiding from anyone. But I like privacy. Imagine you are sitting in the coffee shop, and then everybody knows you. It's not really fun. I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking for being famous. I don't like that. It's not really my intention of what I'm doing. Those who work for their glory, they get their glory. I work for God, not for myself. All of you have no idea who is this guy. So I got nothing. You don't even have my name. So who was a Christian prince? Nobody knows. How we look like? It looks scary. I mean, isn't it obvious? This is the this is the by the way, this is the main reason I don't show myself in the camera. I'm just trying to do like I am serving God, etc. But the truth is, brother, I look scary, brother. And I'm afraid that if I open my camera, most of you will fail and you will faint. I go and I go in the elevator, I say good morning. Nobody answer. People get scared, intimidated. Hey, good morning. Nobody answer. Like, what the heck? What's wrong with those people? I just say good morning. I'm, I'm more scary than Allah. You shall see what will happen when I go in the airport. Just wait. Mm. Now, no, no, I'm not going to tell the story of uh, We want to focus on this. Allah is one. Okay, we got that. But Allah is one what? One foolish person. Everything confirmed that. By the way, if you did not watch this video in the other channel, go and watch it. This is, uh, you see, in the other channel, we are speaking about everything except religion and uh, politics. And there's many videos in YouTube trying to deceive people and fool them. As an example, this video here I made about confidence. How to be confident in any situation. And the guy in the video who have 2 million subscribers, he give you the proof of being confident of an actor in a movie. He sit and he hold a cigarette in his hand. And that's supposed to mean he's a confident. That's not doesn't mean he's a confident. That's mean he's an idiot. You see, when people try to show off, that's mean they are not confident. Showing off is a clear sign of you not being confident. Now, we go back to the topic. How many of you subscribe in the other channel? How many? Hmm? Anyone who sub I, we have a we have a new offer. Anyone who subscribe in the new channel, he will get seventy two versions from Allah. Brand new. Zero mileage. Guaranteed. Allah spent one thousand years to soften their skin. Hey Abdul, so one thousand years to soften their skin. I mean, why Allah? He cannot. He never heard of something called Nivea. One thousand year. Why? I mean, even if it's a made from concrete, you can soften a concrete in two seconds. Go and buy the machines for concrete. You, they will make the concrete so soft, like a like a face of a baby. One thousand year. To soften the skin of each one of them why he made her from what okay those who did sub subscribe to that channel I want to now to unsubscribe and I will explain to you why because according to Islam brother if you subscribe to something bad and then unsubscribe Allah will give you double reward so look at this let us do this subscribe and subscribe subscribe and subscribe subscribe, and subscribe. imagine you can do that with the bank you give them a dollar, you take it out. Allah give you two dollars in return, brother. And then you put it back. You put the two dollars. Now Allah give you four dollars in return, brother. Then you give it. <laughs> the logic of this God is amazing. Uh, no, they are ladies, ladies. Yeah, the Quran says it clearly. You see this uh, idiot, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zakir Naik. 
when uh, an Indian lady she asked him about the whore he said uh, the whore is a plural word uh, for male and female but this idiot a stupid who they, they 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 call him scholar the Quran make it clear that those are females and the verse after it says which no one broke there you know the word right I mean it's there in front of you you idiot so the female uh, the female lady asked him uh, uh, why a Muslim women Muslim man will get uh, 72 women but a Muslim man uh, Muslim woman she will not get 72 women so he said the Quran mentioned the word whore, and the word whore is the plural word. What it mean? It is, uh, it is for male and female. What means that sir, you will get 72 too. Like, what the heck? But this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying it clearly that those whore, they are females, and they will lose the skin inside their private part from intercourse. I mean, look at the language of the Quran. How savage. Hmm? Any Abdul? Hello? Where is the Muslims? So Allah is one, but Allah is, uh, is the only one who will, he's, a, he's a going to provide us uh, I don't want to use the word. I mean, this is disgusting. Women who their private part is a brand new. And not only that, if you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see that Allah, each time you have sex with those women, Allah will make the inversion again. Like, what? Like, what? What? I mean, this is even cheating. Is virginity is making a surgery for the private part? This is what virginity is. You just sleep with her, so she is not virgin. So this is the god of a cheating all over. And what what the point? You get the point. What the point? What the point of making this woman virgin again? I just sleep with her. But because Muhammad is speaking to the Arab men. Who they have obsession to be the first man. He want to be the first man. Nobody before me. He is the one who have the key. He is speaking to the Arab who they worship, sex, and wine, and vagina. And those are my people. I know them. And because he knew that they are obsessed with white women, he even promised them, actually the word whore, not only is about the eyes, this is not the correct translation, the word whore is about them, they are so white to the point you can see through. Like, you see the, the, the hawar is usually for women who they are extremely white because they are so spoiled, they don't see the sun. In the old days, you know, if you are... Uh, a daughter of a, uh, a princess or rich person you don't go out to work you sit in your palace having a shower perfume and you have a slaves doing everything so the one who work in the Sun is the one who get tanned and the one who stay home all his life he is so white so Muhammad because he knew how much obsessed they are with the white women he promised them and this is why he said attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls Uzu Bani Al Asfar, get the blondy one, attack the, the, the blondy people so you can get their blondy women. And there's a verse in the Quran about it where a guy he says to him, the Muhammad, don't seduce us by women. Muhammad he made a verse about it, saying that this man. Is a bad person. He is saying he don't 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 seduce me by women, but 
in fact he don't want to go to war but Muhammad is seducing them by women don't tempt us do we have any Muslim don't agree anyone hello and then Muhammad he made a uh, he made the promise that Allah in the heaven he will give you women who they are see-through the first group you know he promised the Muslim too they will be so white they will be shiny white like a full moon and then he says and those Allah will give you women who will be so beautiful transparent pure transparent to the point you can see the marrow of their bones you see it which is ugly imagine you see a woman God he gave you a woman she looked like this let me show you Oh boy. Man. I don't like to see those pictures because each time I see them, I get tempted, brother. Where is the pictures? Usually they come right away. Okay, hold on. Let us change the search. Uh -huh. oh, here we go. We found them. Look at this beauty, brother. Look at this. Unbelievable. It's so hot. I mean, uh, it's not good for me to... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a single man. I'm, uh, it's not good for me to see these things. It's very tempting. Oh, look at this. Look. Um, oh, boy. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. This is the promise of Allah. This is Allah who is promising me this hmm? we will see the marrow of their bones what else we will see hmm? look at this unbelievable I cannot look at this this is very tempting brother that's that's crazy please I'm, I'm uh, come on change this please replace the picture I'm, I'm single look at this oh boy Oh man, I'm covering my eyes now. Oh, what is that? So beautiful. So this is the women in the heaven. We will see the marrow of their bones. This is disgusting. Why you think I'm a, I'm a dog? I, I like bones. Back bones, back bones. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Back bones, back bones. What is this? Who in the world he is a man he will like to sleep with this this is a jellyfish but because Muhammad he knew that those Arab they have obsession with white women so he exaggerate with his lies and he when he Muhammad when he exaggerate nobody can beat him we have to admit they are so beautiful brother the Huris yes brother Prophet, how beautiful they are, hey, brother. They are so beautiful, transparent, brother. Transparent? The women in the heaven of Allah, they will be transparent. So finally, if my wife, she stand between me and the TV, she cannot disturb me no more. I'm so happy now. Your wife, she stand between you and the TV, says, stop watching TV, talk to me. And now she cannot do that because still you can see TV. You say to her, okay, stand there. Okay, I see. <laughs> you are transparent. <laughs> Unbelievable. We just found a, 
you know a new benefit of this hold on hold on hold on uh, lion of Islam lion of Islam he's typing in Arabic now look what the lion of Islam he said <coughs> he says تكرر موضوعك مرارا وتكرارا على الأقل تكلم عن دينك نحن لا نعرف ما هو دينك I don't think this guy he speak Arabic I think he is using Google translation you speak about uh, the same topic over and what do you want me Muhammad he keep talking about the same topic all over and you must tell me do you have a new topic let me show you about the one who repeat himself as long as you are saying we are repeating the topic you even your, even your God he cannot look look at this have you ever heard of a God not only he repeated that repeat the topic but he repeat exactly the same word over and over and over why he is out of words hmm let us see <clears throat> look at this Abdul watch with me I will go to a chapter in the Quran and I will search to this or let us say let us let us search for it in English brother hmm? The whole sentence. How many times this sentence repeated? Allah repeating himself. Why? He is out of words. <laughs> what is that? So as long you are against repeating and you are saying to me, explain your religion. Well, how come you don't explain our religion to Allah who he think that the Trinity is the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah and Mary is one of the Trinity have you ever heard of a God he kept repeating the same sentence over and over why even in Arabic if you repeat the same sentence twice in a topic even if you write a thousand pages you are not a good author look at this the Arab they used to make point of a thousand two thousand line and they never repeat the same sentence because this is considered a weakness and unable to find words in the language to replace the same sentence do you see it so why Allah repeating himself secondly as long as you are saying to us or teach us about our religion why you don't ask Allah to teach you about the Christianity or what Allah he said to you about the Christianity that Jesus says worship Allah that's it where is the book of Jesus in the same time if we go and see the funny yellow pages of the Quran you will see the Quran saying that Muhammad he confirmed the Torah and the gospel which is with us Hmm? Look at this. As long as the Torah and the gospel are proving what we have, so what is the problem? The Quran says that. And when they come to them, the Jews and the Christians, the book, the Quran from Allah confirming what is with them. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? So how you say Islam don't agree with the Christianity and then we see that Allah confirmed the Torah which is in our hand and the gospel. Hmm, I forgot to tell you that Allah is a crazy God. He says stupid things. <clears throat> hmm? Lion of Islam, are you a Muslim? Muslim, a Muslim. 
Do we have any Abdul here? What kind of God is God? He, he just told me that you are confirming that Jesus said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. You just confirm Jesus saying that I am the resurrection, I am the life, I am the bread of life. Whoever believe in me and die will live. You just confirm that Jesus said before Abraham I am. He just confirmed that Jesus says I'm God because this is what the whole Bible is saying. And you just confirm the crucifixion of Jesus. So how you confirm what is with them? But I will tell you, when Muhammad, he said this verse, he was trying to be hypocrite to the Christians and the Jews. He wanted them to be accepting him, but they did not. So later he switched the mood. In the beginning, he accept everything they have. My friend, forget about Alif Lam meme now. Later, later. I mean, don't you see? We have a topic. We want to find that Allah is one, but he is an idiot. What the point of Allah is one, but he says stupid things. He didn't know how the baby is created. He, he don't even remember which one he created first, the stars or the trees. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he created first. Hmm? Abdul, again, guys, I want to remind you that I will be away for some time, and you can follow my news by watching this channel. I will post video there about my trip, and I will not do editing. I will record just in my phone, and I will post. I have a. I will go in the air. I will be in the airport maybe after an hour from now, uh, and then I will I will open broadcast in this account maybe. Let us see. I will arrive maybe four hours from now. Four hours or five hours. All right. I will try to post a video about the the second stop, not the first stop. The second stop I am in, and then I will we will continue following up the news. So don't forget. To, uh, to subscribe to this channel if you care to follow the news and to be stay with us. I will be there for like uh, maybe two or three weeks maximum. That's it. All right. But anyway, you, will, you can stay in touch. I will post the videos there. So you are not going to be away anyway, right? Any Abdul? Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Well, you know, to to be honest with you, my trip is kind of scientific. I'm I'm going to try. You see, actually, I was searching for a scientist. Uh, a bunch of scientists so we can study how the sperm of the women come from her chest as Allah said and then I changed the topic because the scientists they confirm this is true yes women they have a sperm and the sperm is coming from the location of necklace actually some women even their sperm come from their nose okay let us be honest how many of you you saw a woman she have a running nose before let us be honest did you see any women before she ever any nose? Okay, let me tell you what happened. And instead of the sperm coming down from her ribs down, it goes up by mistake. So this is uh, proving already scientifically to be true. Proving this is the proof. I mean, it's obvious. Captain obvious. All right. So my friend, to make it short and simple, you say to us your God is one, but what is the benefit if your God is a silly God and he says stupid things? Promising us virgins and speaking about their vagina. He do not know how the baby is created. He thinks the sun set in murky water. And you Muslims, you try to answer this and we got you busted. Like yeah, as an example, they say to you, brother, 
The Quran is speak about the sun sitting murky water. This is how it appeared, brother, to Zulkarnain, brother. It's not Allah saying that, brother. Shut up, liar. Allah saying that. It's not Zulkarnain saying that. And this is your prophet getting you busted. Spank, spank. Allah sitting behind the messenger of Allah. So, so. So, so, so. What does that mean? So, so. So, 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 okay. So, so, who was riding a donkey while the sun was sitting? He asked, do you know where this sit? Look at this question. And how embarrassing that you are speaking to a prophet of Allah and you are just an ignorant who did not know where the sun said. And now the prophet voluntarily, look how beautiful the prophet of Allah. Look how beautiful, voluntarily is teaching us for free. Voluntarily, the Prophet of Allah, he gave us knowledge which nobody have. He says, I replied, Allah and his apostle know best, brother. And the Prophet, he loved it when you say to him, Allah and the apostle know best, because he made himself equal to Allah in knowledge. And then he says, he said, which means Muhammad, it's set in a spring of boiling water, not warm water, hot water. Hamia. Look, what the heck? And I was wondering why the sun is hot, why the sun is hot. Now I know why it's hot. It go and dump itself in the boiling water and then it come back to us. This is deep. That's so deep. That's so good. This is so, so good to be true. Hmm. Is somebody speaking about uh, the the song of song song of song first of all this is a king this is not God talking and he's making poetry is not even about women it's about his the city of Jerusalem so what song of song and you know listen just to show you the hypocrisy of the Abdul did that was making uh, uh, like attacking them it says can you read the song of songs to your children can you and then suddenly, oh, after a few years, somebody told him that the name Muhammad is in the Song of Song. And suddenly the Song of Song became holy for Muslims because somebody told the dad that Muhammad is in the Song of Song. Like what happened to the Song of Song, which is bad? Since the dad, he said that Muhammad is in the Song of Song, Suddenly, the song of song became amazing and so beautiful. This is the hypocrisy of the hypocrisy. Switching from the song of song is bad to the song of song is amazing. Now, for sure, you find the name Muhammad there. But this is not a name. This is a word, Muhammadim. The one he's talking about, this is about the praised one. So any, anywhere we find the word the praised one, that's means speaking about Muhammad, you idiot. Your prophet, his name, the praised one. And how you can call a man, he is a prophet, the praised one. You just to prove to us that you are worshipping him. Because the only one should be the, the praised one is God. True believers in the oneness of God should not call any man, anyone, the praised one except God. The name of your prophet is a clear proof that you Muslims are pagan, mushrikeen, worship Muhammad. And Muhammad, he changed his name from Qatham to the praised one. And keep praising him. Praising him for what? For cheating in the bed of his wives, for being a killer, a thief, marrying a six years old kid. If we can call that marriage. Anyway, guys, I got to go. I have a flight waiting for me. I will. Uh, I, I will not. Uh, I will not make video. I will not make video from the first step. I mean, first airport. Uh, I will make from this. I, I have a long connection. You see what happened when you are like trying to save money? Unbelievable. But you know, for me, it's really. I like. I like traveling. I, I don't mind. It's okay. So I enjoy traveling. I, I enjoy uh, seeing the world and I enjoy flying. Last time I was flying, I saw Jibril. 
I'm telling you, I saw Jibreel. Jibreel was just next to us. And then Jibreel, he started cleaning my window. I was in the airplane, and then suddenly I saw somebody in my window. And cleaning my window. I took a nap. I thought the airplane is flying. It turned up, turned to be like the guy who was cleaning the airplane. They did not even move yet. He scared me. I thought it's Jibreel. Like imagine you are in the airplane and the, uh, supposedly the engine is on and you think the airplane is a flying and suddenly you look in the side, you find the guy in your window. The first thing come to my head, it was Jibreel. Because who can fly next to the airplane except Jibreel with his uh, flying donkey? Right? All right. Thank you guys for being here. And again, for the last time, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can follow up with our uh news and don't worry about me being away i'm just telling you from now i will be away for some time but always you will hear my news from this channel and uh, from patreon all right now i'm not sure about patreon if i can post because uh, Patreon they have their security so they might not be able to open the website from abroad i'm not sure if i can post there or not so it's better always to subscribe to this uh, channel here so we can pause for you the videos and we can keep in touch this is the video i will post it underneath and until i see you again guys may the lord bless you and i hope the muslims they stop talking about the one god and switch to speak about the one idiot who believe in a silly stupid stuff god is not a fool God, he cannot be a person who don't remember which one he created first. One chapter he says he created the stars first, and then in different chapter he says no, he created the trees first, the grass first. And when I say first, I mean before each other. So there's no way God, he does not know what he created first. And there's no way God, he will say stupid things about the creation of the baby. And no way God will not even be able to quote history. So he claimed that the the Samuri he was exist in the time of Moses, and Moses met him. There is no way God he will think that the Babylon Tower is built by the Pharaoh. There is no way God will copy a story of the man with the two horn, Alexander the Great, and he put it in the Quran, full of fictions and stupidity. And now he built a dam between us and the nations. It's called Gog and Magog. And supposedly now they are digging in the wall until now and they will come out one day. And they are a huge number, 1,000 to 1, which means if we are now 7 billion human beings, that means there is 7,000 billion of those people. Yet we cannot find one. And this guy, Zulqarnain, is that the great. He built a dam between us and them. You cannot be smart and you believe that Solomon, he have a flying carpet. And Solomon, he dies standing and nobody noticed that he is dead until the ants, the termite, they ate his stick. You have to be fooled to believe that Suleiman, the flying carpet, can carry 600,000 chairs. You are a fool to believe that Suleiman, he have a ring. If he wear it, he controlled the whole earth, human and genie. You are a fool to believe in genie too. So you tell me about one God, ten God, who care? It's about if they are exist or not. Let us say there's a guy from India, he believe in ten gods. But he can prove to us that they exist. So he's the winner. One God, two God, three God, doesn't matter. What count is how truthful your God is, how real he is. Not, I believe in one God. Okay, believe in one God. So one idiot, foolish God. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I hope to see you again soon. And uh, our podcast maybe in a few hours from now in the other account as you see in the screen. So if you care, subscribe and see you. Bye-bye.